mastermind behind everything. It was Leonard Lake's wife, and, uh, or ex-wife, who uh, owned the uh -huh. cabin. Yeah. Yes, and, it was her property. Ah. Well, here's, uh, here's the story. Now, now here's, here's the other thing. Now, you, you, you got married not so long ago. Oh, I got married in what, uh, a couple years ago, actually. Yeah, Yeah. So, since, since the last time I saw 2014. Like, it was the year that I was on your podcast. Right. And then... And then you gained 100 pounds. Yep, right after. <laughs> how, how did your wife, what did your wife think of that? She's super supportive of my work. No, she and didn't. She yeah. hated it. Be she, honest. She did not like it. There but she go. was totally, well, she, uh, she, she, was was she was on top more of the She was willing to go with it knowing there was a purpose behind it. But right. the fact is I had to do it. I couldn't, I, I couldn't live with myself if I didn't. Right. So when you guys are out in public and, and you're <laughs> 100 pounds uh, heavier and she's you're out with your friend. That's just how it went. Oh wow. Okay. Well, that's, she's a saint then. Yeah. She well, is. to marry you, that's a. You know, she has a foot the dark side. Oh, she, we met working at a haunted house. Oh. Ah, so you like you like you. Oh, yeah. meant to be. It, I, I guess it was. Now, uh, now Alabama, now, it, it was <laughs> meant to be. Now we're gonna we're going go back and forth between twisted serial killers and your life. Okay. So you, <laughs> which is not twisted. You're, you're, you're so sweet. So you you grew up in California. Yes. And so. Uh, now, here's, I, I asked you this question before. Now, why is it that uh, larger women are, are fetishized, but large men are not? God, that's as, 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 as you as you will as you will can test you have that. An yeah, can that? I have an answer yes, for that? Please. Okay, so Carolyn. Okay, we talked about this, Candace. We we did. She said the heavier men, she doesn't mind being me. She thinks they're hot. Oh really? We had this mm -hmm. conversation no, because of Wood Leonard Lake. Yeah, and she said it's actually better because they'd be more grateful when they make love to you. Kind of like Leonard Lake. Yeah, I like. I love I that answer. Grab onto and see, you know, it. Remember, yeah. it always has to go through a serial killer. <laughs> right, but, but, but there it goes back to diversity now. See. Yes. Right. Okay. But, but anyway, so but uh, so uh, how do you get into modeling now? When you when you got back in, you were what thirty six? Thirty six and a half. Yeah, right. it really started well, as an look, Instagram you don't look at, page. You don't look at, and uh, you're you. you're forty now. Yeah. I'm very proud of 40. I'm also very age positive. I also would love to see more age diversity in the media as well. So, well, more and, 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 and just in general. Um, more 40 year olds in thongs like you? I don't do a lot of thongs, but, so you do thongs. Um, but I, have done, I have done it in the past. Um, you look this up right now. I, <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even I'm know what you were missing, right? I know. I didn't know. Um, oh. And it's interesting that the, it's so much. There's so much of a journey behind why my Instagram page is the way that it is. Okay. And a lot of it is because when I was younger, I was very insecure and very... I was a Division One athlete. I had an incredibly fit figure, mm -hmm. right? Um, and but you're 5'11", five, five right? 5'10". Uh, 5'10". Five, five, um, but so I... Tall. Uh, tall. And um, I wasn't confident in my body at all at that, at that point. It took me gaining 100 pounds. I got to 300 pounds. Um, and <laughs> Whoa. I'm sorry, I'm looking at your That's picture. That's all right. I got yeah. to 300 pounds and decided it, it that I was going to have to love me. <laughs> They're looking at her Instagram page. I was yeah. going to have to love you me all if should. nobody else You was. all should be so, looking. Yeah, thank you. Thank yeah. you so much. Um, but I'm really, really passionate about helping other women find their sexy at any size. Right. and help them um, develop confidence in a way that they can, you know, not everybody mm -hmm. needs to be on Instagram posting everything like I do. You know, if it's something where you can wear a bathing suit at your at your pool at your house mm -hmm. and feel confident, that would make me really, really happy that somebody, because a lot of women don't feel that way. Well, how did you find your sexy? At 300 pounds. I well, decided I was going to love me if nobody else was. If nobody else, you know, if nobody else was going to love me at shit, I was going to love me, so you know, and so I got to that level and decided, you know what, I'm going to start rocking what I've got, I, I love fashion, I love accessorizing, and I'm going to do this at a, even at this size, so I, and then through that process, um, I got back down to, uh, I dropped about 100 pounds and, and got back down to sort of this middle range, right. so I've been a very unhealthy 135, and I've been what would, some would call an unhealthy 300, and, and now I'm about through, uh, somewhere in between 205 and 210. But very, healthy, the week. but very healthy. Right. Emotionally healthy, mentally healthy, physically healthy. Right. Um, which is the goal. Right. So did somebody yeah. did somebody see your Instagram pictures and and want you to model for them? Yeah, I, I would say. And then I was really I started to actively pursue casting. Okay. So within kind of once I created the account, I started to find myself and started to realize that that was the level that being in front of the camera was the love of my life. Right. 
and I wanted to do that in any way, shape, or form. And okay. so I started to reach out to people and see if they would be interested in using me as a model. And, and they did. And they did. Yeah. And they did. And they did. Has, has anybody said no? Or? Of course. Are you kidding me? You have to climb a mountain of no's to get to a yes. I mean, this is the, <laughs> this is right. the fashion industry, right? Right. Um, and so, yeah, I've had a lot of no's, actually. Or just not, not non-responsive. You know, people that just don't respond. Right. So you do a lot of putting yourself out there, and then on occasion you get lucky, or, or somebody and, and connects with your with your story or with you, and, and wants have to you hire approached you. or been approached by, say, Tories, like my Brian, to take you? I haven't. No. Have, um, you, have you put it out there? Or? I have put it out there. Um, that would be a dream. That's right. definitely on the bucket list. I Lane Bryant saved my life when it comes to fashion. Uh, when I, because I was in business, and they were where I was able to find good. Right. Business wear for right. you know when I was that size at the height of my of my weight and so I will always love Lane Bryant and right. feel very very passionate and very connected to that brand and would love to work with them. Right. Because I, 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 yeah, I know when I got in my heaviest, I basically yeah. uh, you know curled up in a fetal position in the floor and started crying and masturbating yeah. furiously. Well, <laughs> and you posed for Instagram. <laughs> right. Not at first. I mean, obviously, it, it, I didn't. It was a process and a right. journey, and I call it the love you journey. And, right. And so. Now, does every plus size model have that sunny, uh, love themselves as much as, as you do? I can't really say that. I can't speak for them. Um, I for do the most feel part, like in general, it's a really, really positive community. Right. Um, it's a lot of women that are really trying to be stronger together, lift other women up. Right. And so that's a really great community to be a part of. So I do believe that there's a definitely an element in there. Right. And uh, who was a typical Alabama Valentine fan besides the three, hmm. the four of us here? And and uh, when Trevor gets to that Instagram, he will be too. <laughs> <laughs> I think really anybody that wants to be a little bit inspired. Well, black guys, sure, but I mean, who else? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Mexican guys? Mexican guys too, I think. I would say my page is very diverse. If you actually look at my followers, I've got lots of different people that are connecting with the page. Right. Um, Older, I younger? Guess, all, yeah, all across the board. Um, and that makes me really happy because that means I'm doing something that's... that's Mar marriage proposals? Uh, yeah, I've had a few. Yeah, yeah. uh-huh, sure. People want you to take them prom? Yeah, I'm really careful. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I have a I don't date under thirty five so oh, really? uh, okay. yeah um and there's a really passion strong reason for that we don't um, have to get into we that. don't need to get into that but but um, and although we're curious I'm very Sorry, Matt. Oh. yeah I'm very kind to everybody at least that's my mission um right. but no problem yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I just, I, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just trying to, because I, I, see, I see these anonymous names, and uh, most of the time they're very respectful. But they, yeah, not yeah. always. Every now and then, yeah. They're on their own journey. The way I look at it is they're on their own journey, and we're all, you know, doing the best that we can. And you say and you've done some acting. I am starting to, yes. Okay. Really excited about that. Not, not their films. I wish. Oh really? Oh, okay. yeah. Let me know. Yeah. I'm, I'm a, I would love to do. Any well, type we need of more victims. So, so I, I am available. <laughs> I am available. But what, what, what have you been in? Um, not enough time. It's a short film that I uh, was an extra in recently. Okay. Great, great production. Uh, I was just in a, um, a short uh, through one of the USC uh, fourth year students. They did a. They're doing a short film called Boob Sweat. Lovely. It's about it's about kids in the summertime and, and being, a little, being a little bit rebellious. But I am and probably some background scenes in that. And um, I just joined a, an acting registry in Santa Barbara. Oh, that's great. Um, so I'm I'm cast in a couple that are coming up. Right. So I'm really I would do any acting. I like love the to be in. Too? Maybe. <laughs> hey, you know I'm telling I you. I am. Yeah, exactly. I am <laughs> The rap um, of, yeah, the rap I, of I kind of giggled to myself. I was like, I can't imagine why they didn't get enough extras for this one. <laughs> you know, really? <laughs> it's Hollywood. I know, I, I, but yeah. I love that every single person that I worked with on that set was amazing. Right. And the connection that I found in Santa Barbara for <coughs> that registry came from being on that set. So I feel like, again, it's just, it's, it's part of the journey, right? You you get connected with people, and it's um, it's sort of meant to be, if you will. I'm very yeah. much sort of a believer in if you're doing what you love and you're putting everything you possibly can into that, 
um, positive things start to happen. Right. And so that's what I, how I feel about some of the things that I've been in or been included in. Yeah. So. Why not? Super excited. Hey, everybody's got to start somewhere. That's right. And Meryl Streep was in 